Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. You are watching Keeping Up With Kira. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. We are so happy to have you. If you would like to join Kira's crew, all you have to do is press the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. That way you will be notified whenever I upload a video. Let's get into today's video. For today's video, I am going to be testing out this new foaming curl mousse. I've never tried it before. While shopping at Burlington, I saw this in the hair section and I figured I would give it a try since I ran out of mousse and the picture looked cool. So I was like, okay, let's give it a try. So this foaming curl mousse is by Urban Therapy. It's the Twisted Sister Foaming Curl Mousse line. And it says that it has coconut, avocado, almond, and honey. This foaming curl mousse is supposed to control frizz, form your curls, and it's supposed to reduce air drying time. So my hair's already dried, but I'm still going to use it because we want to have curl definition and I'm going to be using it for my flexi rod set. So I'm just combing it out, making sure there are no tingles, no knots, nothing like that. We want to have it nice and thoroughly combed through. Once there are no tingles, I applied the mousse and now I'm just going to use this flexi rod, twist it up, twirl it up so that we have some nice curls in the morning. All right, so I'm just going to continue this process all throughout my head. We're going to comb, 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 apply the curling mousse, and then put the flexi rod in. So this hair video is going to be a little different from my previous hair videos because I'm going to incorporate some songs that I listen to while I do my hair. Having a good playlist while you do your hair is essential because it really keeps you motivated to finish your hair and it makes the process go by a lot faster. Singing, shine. 
came and you made me smile. You came and you brightened my whole life, my whole life. You in my life makes me alive. You in my life makes me alive, oh yeah. You give me love, I can't deny. Your love is sweet, I can't lie, oh yeah. You in my life makes me alive. You in my life makes me alive, oh yeah. You give me love, I can't deny. Your love is sweet, I can't lie, oh yeah. My life like someone 29 and now I realize that my soul has been the prize for you I can't deny now, I can't describe how I changed my ways and I've changed my way of life Now I'm thinking about you My mind is on you Come before your throne of grace and I surrender all Cause when I fall, you're there to catch me So if they ask me, I'll say that your grace is all I need Oh Lord, you see the best in me It's why I call you Yahweh It's why I call you Yahweh When I'm walking through the valley Let me feel you next to me that's my prayer, my prayer, my prayer. That's my prayer. Okay, guys, I'm jumping back in. We're taking a little break from the music so that I can tell you guys what's happening. So, as you saw, I was able to install the perm rods and flexi rods in without any problems at all. Now here I am taking out all of the perm rods and the flexi rods. Okay, so far so good. That first curl looks good. All right, the second curl, not too bad. Let's see how the rest of the curls are going to turn out. Hmm. What's happening here? Why am I having such a hard time getting this flexi rod out of my hair? It should be one, two, three. And yet, I know you guys see how difficult it is to get my hair unraveled from this flexi rod. I know you see it's literally stuck to the flexi rod. I am unraveling it, trying to get it off, and your girl is struggling. What could be causing this problem? If you guys have seen me trying the main choice mousse, video then you know that it's not this hard for me to take out flexi rods like when i use the main choice curl foaming mousse it was one two three easy peasy i did the exact same steps i combed my hair all the way through so that there weren't any knots i applied the mousse and i applied the flexi rods and the perm rods and it came out so easy like i didn't have any issues at all and as you see here that one came out a lot easier it's not very defined, but hey, I didn't pull my hair out trying to get it out. So that that's 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 a good thing. All right. But now here we are right here trying to get this one out. It's coming out a little bit easier than the other one, but not as easy as the previous one. So I'm trying to figure out what is causing this this stickiness, like what's causing my hair to not be able to get off of the flexi rods. And I've come to the conclusion that this mousse may not be the best mousse on the market. But I'm going to I'm going to let you guys be the judge, okay? You um just look at how my hair turns out. The flexi rod came out, so that's good. It didn't pull any hair out with it. We love that. But as you see, the light pink one is still in my hair because I couldn't get it out yet. But don't worry. I will not give up. We're just going to take a little break and take out the other rollers for now. So we're going to take a break from my talking and I'll come back in a few minutes to let you guys know my final thoughts on this mousse and my hairstyle overall. I stand firm with confidence till he comes again, till he comes again. I keep my mind stay.
So as you see guys, I came back to this side of my hair to try to get this light pink flexi rod out. And it's still, still a challenge. It's still very much not trying to get out of my hair. So I'm just going to move up and try to take out the other flexi rods. This flexi rod right here is a little bit of a challenge, but it's okay. It's going to come out. We're going to get it out. Easy peasy. And we're going to get the rest of these rods out. We're just going to take our time. We're not going to get impatient. We're not going to get frustrated. We're going to take our time and it's going to come out. I wanted to talk to you guys about how my hair feels, how it feels when I'm taking these rods out. So not only am I kind of stressing out because I'm like, why is it not coming out easier than this? Why is it stuck to my hair? Not only am I thinking about that, but I'm touching my hair and I'm like, why does my hair feel like this? Before I put the mousse and the rods in my hair, it felt so soft. Like my hair, I was able to run my fingers through my hair. My hair felt extremely soft. And now while I'm taking out these flexi rods, I'm touching my hair and it feels so sticky. Like it feels like I have syrup in my hair. And I'm like, what in the world is this? My hair does not feel like this after I do a flexi rod set. Like, it should feel fluffy and soft and, you know, nice. Like, I don't understand. I'm trying to describe to you how it should feel, but it should not feel like syrup. And that's what it was feeling like. Like, I poured syrup in my hair and I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. But the way my hair feels... Maybe if the curls turn out good, maybe I won't mind the syrupy texture if the curls actually come out good. But it will have to actually come out for me to know if it comes out good. And <laughs> here I am again, struggling. So I'm going to go off camera to try to get three of these flexi rods out because there's about three of them that are not trying to come out. And I need a lot of prayer to get it out. I need to take my time. I need to not get irritated. So yes, I always work in sections. I made sure it was thoroughly combed, which is why I was having a hard time understanding why my hair was not coming off these rods easier. But um, eventually off camera, I got these three rods out, one, two, and then the light pink one. And these are the results, okay? So after I took all the rods out, and I put a little bit more oil in my hands. I separated each curl and I finger coiled each of them so that it would be more defined and give me some more definition. Separating each curl definitely helped a lot. I really like the front, the bangs part. So maybe in the future, I'll just use all perm rods to get that more defined look and try out a different mousse because I wasn't a big fan of this mousse. But let me know if you guys used this mousse before, how did you feel about it? Thanks for watching today's video. Love you guys. Don't forget to catch up on previous videos.